can do that to the due diligence here. This is our daily update on MMAT. And I know, I know, whenever, you know, we have an update, you guys don't watch my videos. You guys only watch my video when there's a down day and you want to hear all my thoughts about this video. So, and especially, you know, research shows that when people are stressed or distressed or sad, they're more likely to be more patient when they're absorbing information. So I know a lot of you probably going to have very short, short uh, attention spam. Uh, in terms of like price action, I'm going to make a separate short video later on. But this one, I'm going to do a sort of a conference recap or press conference recap. All you guys really need to know is basically it's almost like George read my script and he literally talks about everything I talked about in my preview video. And uh, you, got, you guys can call me a psychic or a psycho, whatever you want. But I will still go into it and I will um, pull up their presentation. They basically read it off of their investor uh presentation from like the previous months to talk to you about like what are their products and all these kind of things uh one of the the things that i i wasn't satisfied about this uh, press conference is uh john actually didn't really talk about anything related to the dividend they only talk about dividend distribution whereas i predicted in my longer video which most of you hated be like oh my god stop making videos this long in that video i actually talked about you know uh you probably need to wait a couple of more days in order to really have your dividend holder really because as you know brokers takes forever but uh, just a really quick summary about price action. Today, I was expecting it to probably close around 7.3 or 7.34. But as you can see in this section, uh, this, this is definitely retail selling, okay? This is retail selling. This is not uh, is institution to come in or shorting stuff. This is retail selling, okay? So a lot of you who don't watch my channel probably sell. But, you know, my price, price position is as, you know, clear and as correct as usual it touches eight uh but anyways i'm gonna make another video on that one so right now right now we're just gonna talk about uh george's presentation so in today's george's presentation uh he introduced us and also by the way george if you're watching this field we absolutely adore you and we're gonna make a separate a dear george video and you know this is such a great choice we decided to like make that video right after you do the press conference because from the press conference we kind of get a feel of who you are your kind of personality and due to my profiling uh background i sort of know what kind of people you you are person you are and i think we're gonna get really you uh, we're gonna get along really really well because you have a have a good technical and academic background the way how you talk about the tech is really great and that's why like we're gonna form a a great relationship together in terms of our community and meta materials in general because you guys really need uh softening in your pr work and you know you guys have really great product we already know that right okay so from your presentation we know that your 5g reflector is super great and i see potential in a lot of these telecom companies companies as i indicated in my discord and you have you know an uh, invisible antenna and enhancement for indoor 5g and one of the biggest problems with 5g is the signal right and it really cannot pass through uh, objects when there is some obstacle in front of it it's literally fucked but uh you guys solved that problem uh, but in terms of like commercialization and everything we can talk about later um and for lidar uh this one i don't really agree with you guys i don't think this is uh, a key problem to solve here because uh, a, a key problem with LiDAR is its noise and the LiDAR itself it has to reach certain distances. For those of you who are interested in, you know, our due diligence on LiDAR, uh, me and number two actually did a huge amount of research on, on LiDAR and Thomas cars. It's a long story. But if you guys want to hear about that kind of things, uh, leave a comment down below. Or if you have to just have any question about this press conference or maybe I'm moving a little bit too fast because I'm trying to make a shorter video for you guys, uh, also leave a comment down below or just simply replay this video for a couple of times okay and then another uh, another thing that uh, they're talking about was nano that nano web and nano web has been out for a long while now if you go on their website it's there and i really think they need a different way of marketing it uh but you know what we're gonna put that in the addressing george video really and i think this is a really great product and we have the solar energy as i predicted in my preview they're going to talk about their contract with Lockheed, which they did and they also count uh they talked about their another contract with another uh solar uh solar comp solar solution provider uh you know we can get into uh, specifics of all these products but right now what george really needs to think about is really to think about uh finding a proper go-to market so it can attract a specific type of investors right now okay and you have air fusion which is the thing i talked about in my preview uh with you know airbus we can go in depth into this because we also did a bunch of due diligence uh, in this thing and and uh you know 
uh, air fusion ar fusion like uh, ar technology because you know when we went through college you sort of when you go to business school you sort of are forced to sort of take on a project to really go into like a field and do a bunch of diligence in this and for me i did a bunch of stuff in vr and ar uh, majorly because uh, actually one of my best friend in high school decided to create a sort of like their own VR control and uh, they sort of uh, using uh, Oculus and everything and uh, I was I was very uh, glad and honored to be a part of their beta program but you know that's for another day uh, and then you have you know medical applications which you know a lot of the this is why media is wrong okay a lot of media is credited today's upside for meta materials into this medical application but in reality, if you go on their Vimeo, you will see Vimeo, Vimeo. If you go on the Vimeo, you will see that they already have their prototype video came out like four or five days ago, right? And then on their website, they already told you that it's in development, and they sort of give a sneaky peek of what is really going on. The non-invasive one is really great, um, but right now the the prototype is the home used one, right? The biggest market is the portable one, okay? Is where this one lies, okay? They, they haven't pushed out their, their prototype yet, but I think it's, it can have a huge potential in the market. But anyways, um, this is basically the recap for uh, for the Meta Material press conference. Really not that much things juicy. You know, a lot of people uh, in my Discord are saying they're going to drop a bomb and be like, okay, we're uh, partnered up with Tesla. I don't really think it's in their place or it's the right time to really uh, tell the public that yet. Uh, but uh, we probably will see a small upside tomorrow, consider a lot of people just coming back and watch the conference. And because we have a portion of retail actually sold off, so we will probably see some institutional uh, investors start to pick up, especially uh, when the transition period over is over. Uh, what, I'm, what I mean by transition period is if you look at uh, the difference between the uh, CSE filing and SEC filing, you will see that there are a lot of more uh, documents required for the SEC. So right after uh, you know, uh, Meta Material uploaded all the required mater materials. Oh my God, that's just so. Red Materials uploaded all the required documents to the SEC. You will see more institutional investors getting interested in this stock because for those quants and for those analysts out there, in order for their big fund to invest, they have to sort of uh, do a pitch within their own company. Okay, and then when they have the proper financial statement, the proper audited financial statement, uh, these analysts will feel better for, of, of themselves because what these analysts really want is these analysts want to move up uh, to the top of their hedge fund or to the top of their institu institution uh, investing companies. So then they sort of have, whenever they pitch a stock, they have to be very careful and they have to back it up with a lot of data. And a lot of them don't really have uh like multiple ways of sort of fetching data uh, from the web without really going to the proper channel uh i'm not saying that we do okay we're just maybe a little bit smarter than the majority of the market just a tiny little bit so um you guys should be proud that uh, you subbed to me early because or sub to us to our channel early because we have a lot of insights and we really want to share with you guys so smash the like button so we can beat that YouTube algorithm. And if you haven't subbed to, uh, to this channel, please sub, sub, sub and spread uh, the video and share DD channel with your friends and family and with your uh, friends who invest or with just any of your investor friends that you see on Twitter. Or just tag us on Twitter or something like that. All right, see you guys on the upside.